because Brute is sick. And is it feasible to walk unbraced and suck up the humus of the dank morning? What? Is Brutus sick? And will he steal out of his wholesome bed to dare the vile contagion of the night and tempt the roomy and unpurged air to add unto his sickness? No, my Brutus. You have some sick offense within your mind and by the right and virtue of my place, I ought to know her. And scene. What's up, everyone? Well, Imaginators? Mm. That was a snippet from one of my favorite monologues in Shakespeare's Julius Caesar. You may be asking, why did I just do a snippet of a monologue? Because today, we are going to be breaking down monologues with Danielle Linnae. That's me, Danielle Linnae. So I know that there are many tools and tricks actors use uh, when preparing a monologue for an audition, a role, a performance, a show, it's whatever. Um, today, I'm just going to cover three of the things I like to explore when I'm preparing a monologue. The first thing I want to talk about is given circumstances. According to the doctrine of Wikipedia, given circumstances is defined as the total set of environmental or situational conditions that influence the actions that a character undertakes. Layman terms, it's the things that takes place in a person's life that inspires or incites their actions. Things like time, place, relationship, status can all inform the how and the why the character does the things that they do. So let's look at the given circumstances of the monologue I shared earlier. So we know that there's two characters, Portia and Brutus. We know that they're married, and so there's this comfort or familiarity with how they speak to each other. We also know that it's super early in the morning, some a time that neither of them are usually up. Let's stop here because I think that there is a lot to explore with just the relationship and the shift in their usual routine. So from here, I can connect to a relationship in my life where I share a comfort or a familiarity, whether it be a friend or a family member or a loved one. And I can also imagine how I'd feel if they started acting strange or out of the ordinary. So for me, given circumstances puts me in the world of the character. It helps me to find where I personally connect and allows for me to truthfully tell that story. So there you have it, given circumstances. The next thing I like to look at when breaking down a monologue is something you find in every story, a beginning, a middle, and an end. Just like a full story or a play has a complete arc, so does a monologue, a poem, and sometimes even songs. They all start and end somewhere, and the great ones take you on a journey. When you're performing a monologue, it's important to capture the journey of what you're trying to convey. I like to do this by breaking down my monologue in its own beginning, middle, and end. From there, I find my emotional entry and exit point. Once you find that, you can create how you take the audience on that journey. So let's go back to the monologue I shared with you guys in the beginning. While there's so many ways to approach this monologue, to give you variety, I decided that my emotional entry point would be worry or concern. And my exit point would be skepticism. So once you know where you want to take the audience, you can use this final step that we'll cover to help you get there. So lastly, we need to cover objectives, intentions, and tactics. Objectives can be defined as a person's overall goal, like life goals. Like, I want to be a baller and have big bank rolls of money. Mm. Intentions are specific, moment to moment, maybe even line to line goals. Some people even look at it as a character subtext. It's the small goals that build to your overall objective. So for example, Portia's overall goal could be to be a loyal and doting wife to her husband. Or it could be to prove that she can be an equal partner and hold her own next to her husband. However, her intention in this moment 
is to get Brutus to confide his secrets in her. How Portia gets her intention or her goals accomplished is through tactics or verb actions. You see in the beginning of the monologue, she starts out by just questioning him. Later on, you didn't see this part, but she pleads, she charms, she guilts him, she, she even wounds herself to prove her loyalty. That's the full monologue, not the snippet, but these are the actions she takes to achieve her goal. So that's it. Breaking down your monologue using just these tools can definitely enhance the way you share your story or even a poem. It helps you to ground the performance element in something that is authentic and personal. So now it's on you. I want you to use the tools that I just shared and break down your own poem or monologue of your choosing, film it and share it with us on this platform. Or you can write and share what your given circumstances are. What are the experiences or situations that have impacted and influenced the person you are today? Write as much details and specificity as possible. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope this was informative and I can't wait to see what you all share. Happy creating. Peace.